Yo! Hello, YouTube. I'm here with a curveball a bit today because apparently uh, a very old MMO that I used to play uh, many, many years ago has actually been revived by the good old company. And uh, that game is none other than Eden Eternal with X Legend. Uh, they were formerly uh, with uh, Area Games, which turned into Game and Go, which turned into a whatever the heck it is right now. But whatever the case may be, I'm here to provide you with some tips that you might be able to do in Eden Eternal. Yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get into it with five things that you can do in Aven, the safe haven of the world here. So, essentially, uh, just to start things off, uh, the first tip that I would like to share is uh, whenever you have people covering on top of NPCs or whatever and you're like how the heck do I talk to somebody so we do have someone right here that's talking to uh, the NPC right now there are two ways to go about this uh, one of which is just to go on their mini map up here and just hide other players uh, but another way that I like to do it is if you press T you can see uh, the NPC that they're talking to and then you can press the tilde button which is on the top left of your keyboard to talk to them uh, so all we got to do is just do that and we can open up the bank just fine. This is useful uh, This method is useful for when uh, whenever you have to like uh, Interact with other person like if you uh, wanted to trade with somebody if you wanted to duel or whatever uh, That could work out just fine uh, and The next tip that I'd like to share is the two-hour event NPC which is actually just right over here but if you guys uh, walk around and you see people with the proof of material received this is a two hour uh, status, uh, which is gained just by talking to the assistant Terran, which is right next to the auction house over here. So all you gotta do is just talk to him, and you can say, I wanna claim my er, floriculture part, and then he'll give you an item, and then you'll just open that up. Uh, that's pretty much it, and then you'll be able to get this uh, proof of material received, and you can receive that every two hours you're locked into the game. The next thing that I like to bring up is the Moreland class experience gain, which this is something where you be able to get extra bits of CP, uh, which is your class experience. But what you do is uh, next to the librarian up over here, uh, you can talk to Moreland and receive a daily fortune. And what he would give you is this little fortune slip. So when you right click on this, you'll get a daily fortune and you also get the status proof that you got a tarot reading for today and that happens every four hours uh, but you can just right click on this and you'll be able to get a bonus so today I have all the warrior classes here get an extra 10% so it's a free little 10% I know it may not be too too big but uh, it still adds up little things add up in this game so the next thing that I like to talk about is the gathering NPCs. So a lot of these things can be uh, gathered. So you may see people in the auction house post up a bunch of uh, different materials, farming materials or whatnot. You could get all those from the gardening or pickaxe or crystal ball dealer here for their affiliated zones to be able to gather. But yeah. One of my favorite things to do in this game is the Asimo games, but at the moment you can't really do too too many, but there are two error messages on the bottom which are actually games. Uh, the second to last one is actually a game that I just did, which was pretty much just the secret base of the Black Wheel. Unfortunately, I, can't, I don't really have footage of that right now, but it's essentially just a race. You gotta talk to the NPC which is inside, and then you'll be able to pick the first option, it'll do a countdown, and you'll be racing across uh, Malice Palace. The, or er, yeah, the Malice Palace, which is the dungeon over here in Wetlands. But it's the same model and everything, but you just gotta do a race. And then if you're in first place, and you talk to the NPC, you get an Asimo Appreciation Gift Box. The ideal thing that I would want from this, personally, would be the Pet Battle Skills Handbook. Uh, but you know what? Let's just see uh, what we get. We got 40 eternal coins, and that's that's really nothing to scoff at because the item, uh, the loyalty shop, there's a lot of things that you can get in here that are super, super nice. Those are essentially five tricks that I like to share with you guys, but 
for something a little bit fun, a little bit extra for anyone who may be curious in terms of what else they may be able to do in Avon right now. Uh, you can actually get this little bit of fame. There's a secret dude in the corner over here which transforms you into a little guy. And his name is Allie. And he might be in error right now, but if we interact and say yo, we are transformed into a disguise. Right now, you might you be careful not to trip down the stairs. <laughs> so as you saw, I stuttered right there for a second. But on the first time that you make it down the stairs, you'll get yourself a bit of uh, fame. Uh, I think it might be out of... Oh, here it is. We got Gained Anecdotes, Stories of Interest, Fame. Which is, as you can see, all the way down here. Anecdotes and Stories of Interest. Uh, we get this. I'm not really sure what this is for, but who knows? Maybe it'll be something huge in the future. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd share that little bit, tidbit of extraness right there. Uh, I am also interested in learning a little bit about the demon event. So as I come up with that, and if you guys are interested, I'll be able to cover that a little bit. Since I know uh, this game did just uh, recently get re-released and there's a lot of error messages and whatnot whenever you're trying to interact. I mean, it's, for example, as you just saw with this. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to tell what's going on. So I'm hoping to be able to provide you guys with a little bit of a general understanding. But yeah, just thought uh, I'd let you guys know if you'd like to uh, see more Eden Eternal content in the future, let me know or uh, yeah, like the video and all that. J subscribe if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd throw out this little bit of video because uh, I, I love this game. I used to love this game and uh, it's been treating me well. I got level 50 max level right now. Yeah. Uh, and, and all in the span of two days. Uh, so it's uh, very fast to progress in the game. Uh, but yeah, just uh, let me know and uh, I'll see you guys around. All right. And as always, peas and carrots, y'all.